Okay, first thing first, we have a 4x4. You're gonna have to remove the front drive shaft. So, if you have a 4x4, you're gonna have to the drive shaft of the front. Size 11mm. That's what I'm saying. If you have an impact, it's much easier to do stuff like this. So now, you get into that bolt that's up there. It's really hidden. So this is the temperature sensor that comes with the kit that's gonna go inside that bolt. I will show it in a different camera on my phone. But it's one of those things that you cannot see that you gotta feel for. So yes, it is a little of a mixture, but it's not that bad. We have the right tools, every job becomes easy. 11 millimeter, so don't say. There you go. There's a little tiny test port. Set. They are identical. I'll show you right now after I finish putting this. This is the way I'm doing it. And then you can see the socket there. Once you feel it, where you can't no more, there you go, but don't force it all the way. You don't want to break it. Okay, so we are my Chevy Trailblazer, you guys can see. So you're gonna have to pass the wire from the transmission, the signal wire, all the way to the firewall, all the way to this side. So si va a tener que pasar el cable por afuera de transmisión, acá adentro. I will show you, I will show you guys how I did it. Uh, the whole I drilled, I drilled one almost a year ago towards the firewall. So I don't really, I did that when I was doing all the wiring kit for this. You know, for this other button I have here. So, yeah. So I do gotta remove all this. Cause I do have the kit right here. Have you guys seen it? Check it out right now. So this is the kit. Right? And the, and the way it's gonna be bolted with this original, I really didn't like it. So I want to go ahead and order one of these. If I could simply mount it right here. Like that. So, yeah. I'm going to take these bolts out. I guess everybody knows how to remove these, but there's two bolts here. You have a few down there, holding this part in, so you can lower that okay, part. Okay, so, it's got the wire, pass it through. I'm going to do it this way. That's why I take the remote, another bolts. Pretty much it. <laughs> so now, grab the wire, put it through here, tuck it in here, and pretty much I could tuck it in from this B pillar, which this usually just pop out, you know. And you see, that's an original gap. <laughs> yeah, so far it's going easy. Pretty easy. Okay, so for the trick, guys, connect the wires. You know, to put this part in there first. <laughs> So I had to disconnect everything again. See, let's go put it in there. Put a little light bulb. There you go. The light bulb in there. And then connect everything else. So of course you have your signal right here with the S. Here negative for the ground, positive for positive. And this part is gonna come in here. And Gonna hold everything together. See, it's gonna this one you tighten is gonna put pressure on this plate, and you're gonna mount it wherever you want to. So yeah, so what doesn't die, it disconnects, have an auto shot off. They did try to steal this truck once, or this SUV, you guys want to call it crossover. So I'm just gonna wire this negative and positive or positive. Technically, you could connect this to the dome lights, you know, or with your brightness signal right over here. You know, you bright, you know, you turn it on like that. So I do have a button here for that reason. Okay, positive. Positive. I can see the comment section right now. You're doing it wrong. Well, there's many ways to do it. But yeah, it's properly, I would like to get it from the signal wire here. I will get longer of these. So yeah, I'm just gonna start this with just with pressure. It's an O-ring is gonna catch in here. Just like a, not an O-ring, but like a little lip on this part. See, so how I have it. So just 
back in there. And there you go. I'm probably gonna just do 3M tape. I really don't wanna draw into anything like here. Cause you know, I might move it later. I might not like it there. I might put it somewhere over here now. So yeah, now I'm just gonna make the negative and the positive. And that should be all set. So I'm going to put compression. Here it has like a lip that will fit in this piece. See, it's sturdy. Got to put a lot of pressure to pop this out. Help out. It will help you guys out even leave it in the sun. But yeah, it's going to look something like that now. I'm okay with that. So here you go, the finished product. You see it's on. So I have it connected to the switch on and off. And like I said, it turns out everything else. So I'm gonna put some 3M tape on this. I don't know if I cut into this. And that's pretty much it, you guys. You know, if you guys like if you guys likes the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it.